Yes, unfortunately not a good night for the English club's first time out in Europe this season. Chelsea in particular, a loss, a bad injury to Mason Mount by the looks of it, and also a penalty missed in somewhat controversial circumstances. Steve, I'll come to you first of all. Mm -hmm. What did you make of that? It was, it was deja vu all over again, wasn't it? It was Pogba and Rashford, but this time Reed, Ross Barkley and William. Yeah, I, I just, you know, it's the same sort of rigmarole, isn't it, as, as the Pogba sort of scenario. Who was the designated penalty taker? We know Barkley come on in the 80th minute. Jorginho's on the pitch. Normally, he's the one that, that, that tucks him away. I can see what William's doing in terms of... Obviously, Barkley's just come on, and William's probably saying, look, do you fancy this? You know, you, you've come into the game, you've just come on, do you fancy this? Are you confident? When Ross Barkley says yes, then that's it. End of story, walk away. But he's, he's gone once, he's gone twice, he's gone three times, he's carried on asking him. Yeah, but you've lost me already, because Jorginho <laughs> is on the pitch. He's got 100% record for Chelsea. Mm. Yeah. Penalties, two yeah. out of two. In Italy, he was six out of seven. Why didn't... Unless he was carrying a knock, we don't know. No. Unless... Could, would there have to be some reason like that for you for him not to have taken it? Well, he seems very confident when he takes penalties uh, in general. But So, for him not to want that penalty, I can't see that happening. I didn't see I him think, in the picture, did you, no, wanting it? I saw, as a senior player, with that record, with that much pressure, if he's the designated take it he's got to take it I think he's got to take it but Ross Barkley when 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 the viewers see the, the images he looks so confident his chest down he's chewing his gum I'm going to take this I'm going to score in fact he looked overconfident and maybe that's why William was like look uh, I feel that I should take but it. then as Jorginho been sort of respectful being the senior professional thinking right well, if he's confident I'm not going to cause a scene mm. I'll let him get on with it I won't go up there and and, and put thoughts in his well, See, OK, let, let's pick this apart then. First of all, are we agreed that unless there's a reason, if he's got a knock or something, Jorginho should be stepping up to take that penalty? If I he's agree the with designate, that. If he's the designate, and so, yeah, a million so, percent. If he's so a designate... So, Alar, Pogba and Rashford, mm. it shouldn't be, you know, no. a mother's meeting, should it? No, no, not at all. If obviously, if it, if before every game, you know who the designated player is. If they're on the pitch, they're taking it. If they're on the pitch and they don't fancy it and they want to shift the responsibility onto someone else, so be it. But we didn't see that from Jorginho, so that, that's the surprising element. OK, let's assume then that there was a reason he didn't take it, for the purpose of discussion. <laughs> Once Ross Barkley says, I'm yeah. having it, you said he looked confident. Yeah. Should William be saying anything to him at all? I mean, Cesar Aspilicueta said post-match that he was only getting encouragement from his teammates, Ross Barkley. Nobody was trying to dissuade him. Do you buy that? Not from what I saw. And, and as Sid alluded to, every time you keep asking him, you're sowing seeds in the penalty taker's mind. Of now, doubt. Good, in, good yeah. intentions, yes, of course. Do you want to take it? Ross Bartley says, yeah, I'm good, leave me alone, basically. But William's there persistent. Even Tammy sure Hayden comes it? over. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's chipping away at him. He's, and even Tammy comes over, whispers in, in Ross's ear. They're, they're probably the words of encouragement. But from the pictures that I saw, William. No. Did, did Aspilicueta also say that Ross Barkley is their best penalty taker? Did he say that after the no, game? No, he said he is one of, one of their best ah, right, penalty okay. takers. OK, well, I mean, listen, fair play to Ross Barkley for coming on, wanting to be, obviously, grabbing the ball, wanting to get his team back into the match. But for me, Jorginho, yeah. why is he not stepping up and taking it? He, he, but even if there was a, a valid reason why Jorginho didn't take mm -hmm. it, that still wasn't great what we saw, was it? No. No, it was an overall uh, a disappointing a night. You know, not it's one of the games where obviously they're back in the Champions League. You go out to win it, of course, but the longer that game goes on, if you're not if you can't win it, don't lose it. Don't lose your first home game against Valencia, the Champions League, in the group stage at home. Um, and in the end, Valencia were, were worthy winners. You have to say, and, and, and nobody fancied them. They came to town. They got no. battered five two at the weekend. Yeah. New manager, yeah. something of a bit, you know, a whiff of turmoil about the club. But they just seem like Chelsea just lack that little bit of flair, little bit of goal, that, you could say, that match winner yeah. that they've had in the previous seasons in Hazard. They, they had so many final third entries, it just like a bit disappointing in Tammy Abraham, looked a bit flat on his heels not in, in both boxes. You could put him at fault possibly for the goal. Um, they had plenty of chances, but just, just lack that fine cutting edge. Yeah, I think the injury to Mason Mount was a big blow. He's started oh. the Premier League in fantastic fashion. Yeah. Goals. He's their creative spark at the moment. And he's arguably 
been Chelsea's driving mm. force so far this season. So him getting injured so early on was, yeah. was a massive Which blow. Which was dented a, them. a horror tackle as well, by the way. Mm. Cochrane knew what he was doing there. You think that's deliberate? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. He took the touch, a big touch in. He knows Mason's coming in. He's gone in and he's played the pass or, or, or a clearance, but left his foot in there as well. He knows that. He knows what he's doing there. He's very crafty, very crafty. I mean, we don't know. Again, hopefully it's not too bad. He's an important player to this. His breakthrough season. I think he's got three and five for Chelsea so far this season. He's he started the season on fire. Oh, he's been he's superb. Just, you saw how much he wanted to carry on. He tried to yeah. carry on. Yeah, well, Champions League debut, isn't it, probably for him? You know, he's probably got family there. It's a big, big occasion for him. Ten minutes in, gets an injury. You could see how he was gutted coming off. Tried to run it off because, obviously, Huge he bump. knew for the, the, the cause of the team, he'd be better on the pitch, but uh, not yeah. for him. Just going back to the penalty, um, you said, it, it, are we being... Not overly critical, not critical of Ross Barkley, but if he's said, I'll have this, I want it. I'll take it. And he stepped up to take it. He scores. It, obviously, it's a different story. Yeah. And had William taken it and missed, same applies. Headlines either way, isn't it? Double yeah. sword. It's, it's a difficult one. Again, we, we can always go back to who's the number one. Hopefully, Frank comes out and says it is Jorginho we, and, and gives us an explanation. But ultimately, if your number one doesn't fancy it, who's, you've got to go the next confident player. And it was Ross Bartley tonight. But I, I personally, I can't believe it would be anything other than either had a knock or there was re a, a reason he couldn't take it. It wouldn't have been, I don't fancy it, knowing the type of pro that Jorginho is. And also, it certainly wouldn't have been, mm -hmm. oh, I don't mind you have it, would it? Yeah, we, we don't know that, Jeff. We're, we're only speculating, yeah. aren't we? But there is a there must be a genuine reason why he didn't. So, you know, we've just got to go with, with what we hear and what comes out of Chelsea the next, next 24 hours. Well, uh, I'm being told that Frank Lampard has just said that Ross Barkley took penalties for them pre-season mm -hmm. and is one of their designated penalty takers. So has that clarified who the penalty who's taker was? was then, I guess. The he's game. grabbed it and put it down. Well, uh, Jorginho <laughs> scored the, uh, the penalty in the Super Cup against, against Liverpool. I don't know whether Ross Barkley was on the pitch then. Uh, look, it, it's it, it, does, does the word takers disturb you, as in plural? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what gets me. Do you know why? Because every club that I've been at throughout my career, before the game, on the, sh on the on a sheet, in the dressing room, it will be the set pieces will be up and it will be penalty takers, one, two and three. Whoever's on the pitch, there you go. That's the, number one, if you're on the pitch, you're taking it. If you don't fancy it and you want to shift the responsibility, then number two. But you know that's, that's the pecking order. It's not three steps up, grabs it, it's my ball. One, you can fight me for it. That's not it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's probably too late by that time, but can the captain, can Azpilicueta do anything in those circumstances tonight? Has he got a dissent? No, up? because you've got to think about the sort of dissent that we've seen at Chelsea. I, I think back at, at Kepper, his attitude towards uh, Sari last year when he wouldn't come off the pitch and all that. You don't want to create any aggravation on the pitch and that's no. probably why Jorginho has gone, all right, I'm, you know, he's confident. He is a designated mm. penalty taker. I've got trust in him. Go on, then. Yeah. Don't start that scuffle and don't try and put the doubt. And ultimately, it maybe looks like Willian did. So let's see the doubt. In did Barkley. it unfortunately just cap a bad night for Chelsea? In that, you know, we saw, we saw the horrible injury. We saw the loss mm. as well. Was it just one of those nights? It can happen. Yeah, it, absolutely. And look, so many Champions League debutants. I, I think the occasion got to the better of some of them. Um, Valencia were good and good value for money. Don't, don't mm. knock them. You know they came with a game plan. They frustrated. They created a, a number of chances as well. Um, so it was a difficult night for Chelsea, and obviously compounded with them losing the tie.